Tyler DeYoung. Uh, I think it went okay. I lost a couple people with the pedophilia one, but I wrapped it up with auto fellatio, and that went over well. <laughs> so the audience, they took you, you think, or you said you lost them? The pedophiles were okay? Yeah, but be before that, they were into it, I thought. <laughs> I guess it's a subject matter that not everybody is, is cool with, but I think it's hilarious. So I, th really well. I think you got to see the funny in everything. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I was nervous all day, actually. Yeah. How do you feel now? Uh, pretty relieved. Yeah. yeah. What is the, the best part of the experience of doing this and the worst part of doing it? Um, I guess the worst part is, like, worrying about it the preceding week, and then the best part is right after you finish your set and you actually had laughs, and you thought, okay, good. Because after you repeat the same jokes to yourself over and over, you don't really know if they're funny anymore. All right, keep it going here. Welcome your next caller to the stage. Welcome, Tyler DeYoung. Hello. I just graduated from uh, Trinity Western University last year. Yeah. I just made through all my time there without breaking the no gay sex rule once. <laughs> Actually, just the no sex in general rule, not no gay sex, and everybody definitely followed that. <laughs> we also follow the no drugs rule and the no booze rule, and we follow the fuck out of the no swearing rule. <laughs> so, I went to university, so I like to think I'm smart, but I still catch myself thinking some really, really stupid thoughts. Like, the other day I was in the shower and I had some shampoo and I thought, you know, there's a hair in my shampoo. <laughs> it's useless. <laughs> um, one of my pet peeves is when people use words wrong, and one of these poor words is diet. And when ever anyone says, I'm on a diet, I think, well, yeah, of course you are. Everybody is. All the time. It's just now your diet doesn't have cookies or cake in it. <laughs> Another phrase that people say a lot is, you have beautiful eyes. Which doesn't really mean anything, because I think everybody does. I've only ever seen one ugly eye, and it was a horse's eye, and it had an infection. <laughs> one time I was on the Skytrain, and I heard a, a teenager say to her friend, Let me take a selfie out here. <laughs> I felt a little bit sick. <laughs> um, maybe you've heard this phrase, that uh, a stay-at-home mom is the hardest job in the world. No, it isn't. It's not even the hardest kind of mom in the world. There are single moms out there who work two jobs and never see their kids, and you never hear them complaining. <laughs> they don't have the time. <laughs> I heard this uh, pop song on the radio, and it was uh, just, the lyrics went, just cause I said it, don't mean that I meant it. And yeah, it was sung by a woman. <laughs> There's this um, other song that goes, uh, hurts so good, come on baby, make it hurt so good. Yeah, you know it. That's kind of my theme song for picking scabs. <laughs> so, when I was younger, I used to wonder, do black guys have black jizz? They don't. <laughs> this one time I woke up to a, a surprise blowjob. I guess that's what I get for sleeping with my mouth open. <laughs> so when it comes to vaginas, I kind of prefer them to have a little bit of hair. Those totally waxed, hairless vaginas just are, are kind of a turnoff. Because if you've ever been going down on one of those, maybe you've ridden this tra train of thought. Uh, hey, I like how there's no hair in my mouth. This hairless vagina is really nice. Uh, who else has hairless vaginas? Uh, Eight-year-olds. 
Hey, that's just a huge throw. Kevin. It kind of sucks how your brain kind of tries to sabotage your boner. But that's kind of its job, because your dick doesn't know what alimony means. One of my friends told me one time that I have something called DSL, which isn't an internet thing, it's an acronym for dick sucking lips. <laughs> Which is just such a curse as a straight guy, considering the only dick that I want to suck is always just out of reach. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys and good night.